Hello everybody, we are once again in another drawer, except this time we are in the bronzer drawer and yes, we are in my Asia uh, makeup drawer, but pretend this doesn't exist right now because I'm going to do the bronzers and I'm going to do the face palettes as well. So, I don't know what I'm starting with. You know what? Let's start with uh, my, 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 my drugstore bronzers. I have one. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm being crushed here. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, I have one from Moira Cosmetics. I've barely used this. I do need to try it. And I didn't bring a rag either. But it is beautiful. But it's very, very shimmery. I, I need to try that again. Okay, so there's the one, and I've got this little one from Physicians Formula, and it's not, I don't, it's not a butter bronzer, but it's a beautiful bronzer as well. It seems to have a little bit of shimmer, but I, I didn't want the big honkin' butter bronzer. I don't like that packaging, I really don't. So there's these two, and I am going to classify my Super Shock bronzer in my cream bronzers. Why? Because I can. It's my makeup. I can do what I want. <laughs> so I've used this a few times and I like it. It's to me it's got a bit more of a pinky tone which I'm whoops sorry about that which I find is better on my complexion. <sighs> But it's difficult to work with. It's not, it's not, I, I don't find it that easy to work with. And I have another Physician's Formula bronzer. This one is their Sculpting Bronzer. Uh, this color is not named. Okay. Ooh, this is crayon. Okay, so we are good. I was wondering if it was just the heat that did that, but no, it's crayon. So we've got two powder bronzers in drugstore and one cream bronzer in drugstore. So, uh, drugstore cream would help if it was clicked. And then two. All right, this is where there's a lot more. All right, got a rag because I've got a lot more here. I'm gonna push those away so I can put these down. I also did bring everything from the beauty room into here. So the first one is the Yensa. Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzing Base, which I absolutely love. I, I, it's a beautiful bronzer. It's very, to me, there's not much yellow or pink. I find it more neutral, but somebody with a better eye might, might say differently. And when I mean somebody with a better eye, I mean Jen Phelps. <laughs> So there's that one. And then I've got oh, this one, this one, this one, this one. I will always go for. I will always buy another one. This is my Westman Atelier bronzer in biscuit. Like, it's very cool toned. You don't need contour with this one. Just boom. You're good. Love it. That is my number one. LYS. In No Limits Motivate is a very beautiful bronzer. I used it this past week as well. Like, seriously, it, it just so creamy. So creamy and easy to use. I, I like that one as well. Um, and then I've got one powder here from LYS in the No Limits Matte in Harmony. This is also very, very beautiful. Let's see, I want to make sure you guys get a good swatch in there. See how beautiful that is? I've got too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. And um, Bronze Goddess in Medium Deep from um, Estee Lauder. The, if this is Medium Deep, <laughs> I don't want to see what the light looks like. It's not it's not very dark <laughs> it's really not <laughs> but it's a, it is a nice bronzer uh and then i've got an itty bitty nars in laguna and i'm so glad i have this because i have a small um nars uh blush so the only thing i'm missing is a small highlight uh and yes 
I do like it. <laughs> it's got a little bit of a she sheen to it. Not nearly as much as the Moira, but a little bit. Persona Dune. Oh, such a nice bronzer as well. Such a nice one. I mean, really. And it blends so nicely. I should have done that with the other ones. But too late now, it's melt. But I do like my Persona bronzer quite a bit. I also like my Merit bronzer quite a bit in the color Sen. I have not used this enough either. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. Uh, we're almost there with the bronzers here and then I'll have to take what I have. Not much more. I've got one mini hula. One mini hula. I had a mini uh, blush as well but it was way too pigmented. I gave it away. I haven't used this very much, but I think it's going to be one of those that needs to be um, not blended, but yeah, it, I'll figure it out. <laughs> but I'm glad I have that. There's, there's, I want the mini cookie, but th it doesn't seem to exist in every other color, but not cookie. I have one glowish in medium soft radiance. Again, not used this enough. I don't use anything enough because I feel sorry for myself too often and then therefore not do makeup often enough. And that's that's a bad habit. And then I have one second chance in my so the old Sephora collection. This is a contour. I don't have a bronzer, just the contour, but look at that. Like that is serious contour. It's beautiful. Okay. Very pretty, Bridget. Alrighty then, bronze. We're in the beauty room. Okay. We're going to start off with my Marc Jacobs that just does not want to end. Look at that. I mean, it, it does not. It still has the ridges, completely the ridges. It's insane. It's a never ending bronzer and it builds up. That's what I was looking for. It builds up so beautifully. I love this bronzer and it is in Tantric. Beautiful, beautiful. I have this by Terry CC Serum, um, which sometimes I use uh, underneath my foundation and you can easily mix it in your um, moisturizer and it just adds a hint, a hint of a tan under your face, under your face, on your face. <laughs> English, Bridget. Yes, it is my second language, but there we go. <laughs> That's my excuse and I'll stick to it. Now the other one that I have is a contour from Il Masco and I love this. I, I like I'm I've just put it in my project pan and this is in the color gel sculpt outline. That's all it's called and it's just a shadow. Just a shadow. It's right there. Just a shadow and that's that's what I love. I love that. Just a shadow. All right, now, I'm in a weird corner. I'm gonna show you guys the palettes that I have at my desk first. No, I'm not, because I forgot to say how many cream and how many powders I've got in bronzers. So I've got one, two, trois, quatre, cinq, cinq, six, sept. Seven cream bronzers. Let's see. And un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, deux. Okay. Seven powder bronzers. I didn't plan on that. <laughs> now, let's go on to palettes that I have at my desk. Okay, first one. Like, yeah this one this beautiful 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 it looks like i haven't even touched it and trust me i have the nude gasm face palette i've used this yeah and yes i still have that i don't know why i'm a little fidgety about stuff like that 
Okay, next. Uh, instant look in a palette. And this is Smoky Eye Beauty. This was the very first one I got. And it's in my project pan. And I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You see, there's, there's dips. There's dips. Yeah, highlighters will never have dips. But there's dips. <laughs> so there is that one. I have my Dior highlighting palette because it's the best like if 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 I had to run out of the house quickly to go travel somewhere it was you know one of those hubby says you've got five minutes to pack I'm taking you on a weekend holiday I would grab this with a few brushes and Bob's your uncle because I've done a full face and eyes with just this that's the best. And I also have the um, Dior bronzing palette and it is in Universal. This is beautiful as well. Very beautiful. This is discontinued but you can still find it on Poshmark and I know Lauren May got hers from Poshmark because she wanted this. <laughs> the bar of gold. This this is absolutely gorgeous. This is heaven on earth. This is, for me, we know, shimmers are life. This is heaven on earth. I could use this on my eyes if I needed to. It's the best. All right. Now, I have another face palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is uh, Gorgeous Glowing Beauty. That's all I have. This one is not in my project pan yet. But it'll, it'll get there once the other one is pretty much done. I just wish I had the last one, but they, I don't. So I'm going to whine about it. <laughs> I've got that. Um, Dalton, this is... Almost, this is pretty much what I've got left from doll 10 because everything else was too old. Oh, this is not even a year old. Why are there little pimplies? I know it got hot, but really? It still smells fine. But if you don't do in-your-face makeup like I do, even then I don't do very much in-your-face makeup, this is the perfect palette for you. It, oh, cream to powder beautiful deliciousness. I have the Filmstar Bronze and Glow in a mini and honestly I'm glad I've got a mini because as you can tell I haven't used it enough. Not nearly enough because I'm trying to use up too many other things but I'm glad I've got the mini. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What else do I have? I have one from Tarte, the Hamptons Weekender and I love this palette. This you can't tell I've used it, but trust me, I've used it, and I've got the videos to prove it. Just don't ask me which ones. And I'm standing here, I open this, and I can smell it. It's so delicious. I mean, seriously. Creamy, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous palette. It's not going anywhere. Not that this is a declutter, but, you know. <laughs> I have Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow. Is there a color? Oh, just Bronze and Glow. So I finally got my hands on this. The only problem is it's a little difficult to, to work with. That bronzer has a hint of red, which is what I need. But as I said, I'm trying to use so many other things. It's insane. And then, I've, of course, I've got the Rose Cheek Duo. And that's why I got the Bronze and Glow, because I had this. I had to have a bronzer. I, I, I had to. I absolutely had to. And the, the um, whatchamacallit, the blush is actually cream. But it's, it's amazing. It really is. Two more. Two more and we're done. Two more and we're done. I'm telling that to my back, not to you guys. <laughs> I've got the Wander Beauty on the Glow. This was one of the final things I got that was decent from BoxyCharm. And the color of the blush is Bare. Look at that. 
and it it's it's beautiful it, it's absolutely absolutely beautiful I love it and the nude glow is the highlighter and it is also quite beautiful I mean just a hint of pink just champagne with a dash of rosé in it oh absolutely gorgeous it is stunning and I'm so glad I got it so glad now this one I think I'm gonna get rid of Natasha Denona bloom blush and glow palette reason is because it's got creams in it and um, this one is very dark always scary this one and this whoops mixing fingers here and I never used that one and that's why I never used that one <laughs> and this is over three years old so I think it's time to go I kept it because Lauren May loves hers and I was telling myself if Lauren May loves this palette with her fair skin then I got to be able to use it no way no way that I'm too scared for the, yeah and no for the eyes yeah but I I can't I can't do that whoops I'm not putting it away it's going away so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 twelve face palettes that is way too many face palettes way too many okay nobody's touching my Charlotte Tilbury palettes those are going nowhere ever I will finish them no matter what yeah I've got too many I've got too much too much too much too much I've got too much I gotta figure it out and then look at this I gotta do that next <laughs> so there we go there's my bronzers and face palettes I think I'm gonna do blush and highlighter next I don't know if it's gonna be blush and highlighter or blush and highlighter and then Asia Beauty and then I've got a lot of videos to do thank you everybody once again for coming to visit with me <laughs> please leave me a comment <laughs> like my video and subscribe to my channel. A bientôt.